Hello everyone, Roughscruff here bringing you another Mass Effect 2 commentary and today we will be doing uh, Rescuing Archangel mission. Basically, you want to get Garrus because he's awesome and right now I am I skipped the first few parts just to uh, because it's kind of long so I don't want to show all of that so I will begin with the part where I make sure that I hack this mech to make my life easier later once again this is a insanity run uh, insanity playthrough of uh, Sandil and I think I don't know I think I'm about level 11 or 12 I'm not sure but anyways Uh, so this mission is not that hard, I would say. It's actually just, uh, again, I always say all missions are not that hard. But uh, it's, it's more like uh, you should be careful in the, in the firefights. I will tell you some of the areas that are kind of tricky and uh, where you could die pretty easily if you're not very careful. Um, and also I'm going to try to tr uh, walk you through to what I'm thinking as I go through those uh, parts. So um, yeah, so I like this mission because it's very very action, action packed, and there's a lot of enemies in this mission. So you'll definitely be on your toes, especially as Sentinel, if you are uh, playing kind of ballsy. Um, and I'm pretty sure I will be, tr I will try to play ballsy just to, <laughs> just to see and push, you know, find the limits of what the Sentinel can do. Um, so right now, what am I doing? I'm just going around uh, picking some items and uh, <clears throat> getting a uh, heavy weapon ammo, which is always great because my flamethrower will have some rounds in it. So, I, so this is all. It seems to be a triggered uh, software script right there. Um, the guy enters the room, and you just it will close behind him, so I just can't enter right after him. So um, I call this guy and I ask because I want some more renegade points and uh, yep that's about it anyway so I'm gonna so who did I bring into this mission I again brought uh, Miranda and Zaid why because Miranda has warp and overload which is very useful because you will be seeing a lot of armored and shielded enemies here and Zaid is just great because of his disruptor ammo and uh, also one thing that you, you can see from this video is that I spent some element zero and I changed my uh, my unique powers to armor piercing ammo instead of this the shitty flashbang grenade, which I, which uh, I have a mis uh, you know called a concussive shot or something. And so to avoid that mistake, and because it's kind of shitty unless it's level four, I decided to choose the uh, one of the uh, armored ammo. Uh, ammo powers, ammo powers. So um, right now, I'm just gonna try to kill these guys ASAP. Even though I probably should wait until later <laughs> to kill them, but um, like there's a bomb over here that I could probably shoot as they're clustered, and I should. But um, I made a mistake and I decided to shoot them prematurely, which is fine. I don't care. Um, so uh, I'm just taking out the shields of this guy and uh, attacking him. Finally, turn on my tech armor. I turn on my armor, armor piercing rounds, and uh, turn on Zaid's. What's that? What should we call it? Disruptor rounds. Um, disruptor shot. I don't know what it's called. Um, so just going around picking some med kits and uh, killing this freelancer over there. Um, Missed time that one. So putting on my tech armor because I got shot by these fuckers. Um, okay. Not fuckers, idiots. Um, okay, so meleeing him to finish him off. Garrus! Oh, Garrus, Garrus, Garrus. So, I say let's kick some ass. Um, choosing the renegade option again. And killing that Loki mech uh, saves me a bullet later for uh, killing these guys. So, um, first part is coming up soon so you'll be fighting a bunch of uh, I believe Eclipse troopers and some uh, whatchamacallit Loki's so uh, and a bunch of I think YMIRMX I believe 
So um, I'm hurrying up so because I don't want uh, Gara's vital signs to uh, drop pretty fast. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm just running around and uh, and I uh, missed the warp over there. It was a straight warp. Uh, but Oh, so uh, finishing that Loki off. So uh, notice another. There's a mech there. Good thing Zaid's disruptor ammo is kind of stun locking these guys, which is good. Um, and uh, another one over there. Um, just using the concussive shot and finishing off with a couple of submachine guns. So right now it's a. It's kind of one of the not harder parts. Um, I would say okay part. So what I'm, I'm gonna do here is show you well, first one technique which is just take cover here and just keep shooting at these guys and uh, notice that they will try to flank you as soon as possible so uh, I would use all my uh, use all my allies spells um, in the order of uh, overload or warp followed by concussive shots and I would just strafe around and uh, so either I can take cover or just kind of strafe behind this cover and uh, oh Jesus awful 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 oh my goodness so I keep getting hit there so I'm trying to find some cover here oh so I don't die and I absolutely hate that a drone right there so uh, shoot these more eclipse troopers and finally I evade the, in the incineration and also the uh, submachine uh, the rocket launcher so that's one way you can do it. Just take cover or strafe behind cover and uh, or behind tall cover and uh, shoot these guys. So right now I am going to uh, use uh, Zaid's uh, well. First of all, Miranda's overload followed by Zaid's concussive shot to take down one of those guys and focus down on the other guy. And uh, so right now we got a heavy here. So this is another way you can kind of fight them head on and uh, just kind of strafe around and uh, be, be Rambo like how Sentinel should play so uh, so this time I'm fighting a little bit closer well uh, still a little bit nervous because because you can as you can see I, I'm still taking cover here um, you can get swarmed here pretty easily so uh, you want to make sure that uh, you play this really safe so okay so here's one thing so no, notice that I notice that my armor is am not armor ammo is uh, kind of dropping over there so I kind of fight these guys using quick reload there just to uh, shoot these guys once again and want to make sure you want to avoid those rocket launchers because uh, first of all they stun you and uh, second of all they, they they stun you and second of all they take off a lot of hit points and another nice thing is those those rocket launchers are kind of easy to, to dodge um, as long as you keep strafing they will never hit you because they, they're not homing rocket launchers. See, see there, there you go. Um, you see that guy was shooting rocket launchers at me. So all I do is just keep strafing and strafing until this guy uh, until uh, so, because, so he can't hit me. The problem is with the, your your biggest problem here is are those uh, guys who shoot machine guns at you. But even those they will miss if you just keep on strafing. Um, not that time though. Uh, you gotta strafe really fast. You just you can't you can't just. Uh, St you can't be stationary uh, uh, when you fight as a sentinel. You have to keep uh, strafing so that uh, uh, so that everything will miss, right? Uh, machine guns and uh, what what not. So, okay, I noticed right now that my ammo is really low, but uh, I could basically take this that opportunity to just kind of grab ammo on the battlefield. So this is kind of risky. Uh, actually, counterintuitive. Um, because I'm just kind of charging to these enemies but what I'm doing right now is you want to help the uh, YMIR mech so that they do uh, he does not die fast um, and uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do so I'm just uh, shooting at these enemies as they come along and uh, keeping the mech uh, occupied um, killing off the trooper and uh, again picking up some uh, some uh, some uh, ammo and this engineer is really dangerous. Engineers are probably uh, super uh, are as dangerous as uh, vanguards or something because uh, they have they have drones and their their shields are actually pretty pretty high. So I use warp and uh, concussive uh, shot on the vanguard because again he has barrier and uh, those uh, two spells really work incredibly well against barriers. 
So, uh, I, I, I did not avoid the warp over there because uh, I, I was uh, poor control on my part and uh, lack of skill, I guess. So, picking up some more ammo, um, I'm maxed out that now and uh, turn on my tech armor again. Um, you know, actually, I just kind of stay behind the mech and, uh, <clears throat> and uh, pepper the enemies as they come along. So there's another engineer, uh, you want to take care of him as soon as possible, but uh, that should be easy if the mech is firing at him. Uh, killing another engineer over there, um, another vanguard using uh, a warp and a concussive shot against that guy. And another trooper. So troopers are not, they're not a big problem. Um, they're, they're fairly weak. So, uh, another trooper here. So, and uh, when suddenly this mech just decides to fire on me. I, I, I was a little uh, unprepared for that, but uh, uh, yeah, so thankfully I was able to find cover right there. And uh, again, got hit by the uh, explosion caused by the mech dying, so killing off this trooper. Um, and oh, there's a little glitch here. That's weird. Yeah, my, my character is glitching a little bit. See? What, what, what the hell was that, man? So, so that's a big glitch right there. So uh, Jaroth here is uh, fighting me close, 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 close quarters. And uh, like a little pussy I am, I decided to back off and fight him in, in a <clears throat> location where he can't really fight back. So uh, I'm debating whether to get some more ammo, and then I remember there is a bunch of ammo uh, near the uh, in the first floor of the safe house where Archangel is uh, positioned. So right now uh, I'm t take the opportunity right now to loot all the items because uh, this is kind of a safe safe spot safe time because no enemies is going to come and not and they will not drop uh, Garrus's vital signs um, so right now I am just uh, grabbing all the medkits and uh, moving over to the room to chat with Garrus so uh, dropping a little save there and uh, going back to chat with Garrus right now so yep I'm definitely kicking some ass <laughs> and uh, so right now uh, we're about to approach a, a battle which I think is the hardest one um, it, it's probably the hardest one because um, you're just gonna get swarmed you get, you're gonna get swarmed and also you only have one teammate and uh, you wanna yeah so I'll, you, you'll see later what I'm talking about so right now I left uh, Zaid over to Garrus and uh, switching over to my uh, flamethrower just for the hell of it because I haven't used it this 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 game and uh, just you know it's awesome you know all right so what do I have now okay moving on and this this part is fairly straightforward I mean come on you just kind of shut down the shutter and shut down the shutter or whatever. Uh, and you're really not in any trouble in this part of the, in this part of the mission um, I'm just throwing a couple of warps there just to back, get them to back up and uh, yep this, this is actually this is part is really hard for me I I don't know why it's really hard because it, you, in order to get to the shutter you're gonna face a bunch of enemies and enemies just keep respawning in, in this mission so it is really really annoying like I said, yeah, it's really, really annoying, and uh, you definitely will be close to dying in, in this kind in this mission. Well, there, what really makes this mission really hard is because you have to get to the shutter, uh, which is really far away, and uh, to get there, you have to pass through these phalanx of, oh, what should I call it, um, Vorcha troopers, and uh, the problem with them is you, the problem with them is they just. There are, there's a lot of them, that's a problem. There's like four or five of them to begin with. And uh, if you don't, it, it, or only way to get through the shutter is to go through them. If you don't even attempt to, uh, you don't even attempt to come closer, come close, like, you know, th 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 there's just way too many enemies that will just keep coming and will kind of stop you 